The audio input level should be at eight. Okay, folks, we're getting close. If you wouldn't persnickyate on my perturbation, I'd be happy to pontificate on a question of my own been doing. Because I don't want you to repeat that, I will reluctantly agree to whatever you said. Ten seconds. Yes, good luck. Can I get a fly check? Six. Five. Go to black. Four. Three. They're not dolls! Hi, I'm Cookie, and I truly believe it is fun to stay at the YMCA. Just you? Great. Looks like I'll have to do all the heavy lifting. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by Vitamin Holy Water. Made with the right vitamins and minerals to make you feel born again. Okay, let's begin. First, what about Biob? Which scream does not have the proper amount of A's for the situation? Ah! Our credit rating is bad! Ah! My car broke down! Ah! I've got a drinking problem! Or, ah! I've got small breasts! Triple A is the highest corporate credit rating score. It doesn't go up to four A's. Plus, the A's are good, not bad. I also would have accepted, ah, these batteries are really small, or, ah, I'm a hot air ballooning enthusiast in Albuquerque. <laughs> Bucker up for more garbage than meets the eye. If Transformers director Michael Bay only used the editing technique where overlapping images fade into one another during scene transitions, what would his Transformer name be? Jump Cutter, Cutaway, Cross Cutter, or Dissolver? Cutaway? No, that's what they do every time Megan Fox is about to get naked! No, no, I'll get this. A Dissolve is when one scene gradually blends into the next one. Another thing that dissolves in those movies are the rational plot lines. This one's called, I refuse to make any jokes about Paul Rudd. Oh man, I was just thinking about Paul Rudd. I love that guy. He's funny, talented, he just seems like a good dude. I'm a Paul Rudd fan, do you hear me? I'm pro Paul Rudd. Oh, man, could Paul Rudd get any ruddier? I mean, seriously, could he? Yes, he could put on a lot of weight. Yes, he could blush a lot. Yes, he could stop shaving. Or no, stop asking. Well, you're no fun. Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Ruddy means a sort of healthy red. So, yeah, that's one way he could get ruddier. Which totally makes sense, because people must always be complimenting him, and Paul Rudd, he's a humble guy. I mean, all the compliments are true, but still Paul Rudd must be all like, Stop, you're making me blush. And that just makes people like him more, because he's friggin' Paul Rudd. Oh, I love that, man! Try this on for size. Q is for question four. You know those Sue Grafton mystery books where she works through every letter of the alphabet? The first one was A is for alibi, then B is for burglar. Well, say Sue Grafton decided to write a new mystery series about far more minor crimes. What would be the twelfth book in the series? J is for jaywalking, L is for littering, M is for mattress tag removal, or R is for rolling through a stop sign? L is the twelfth letter in the alphabet. My favorite book in the series is probably S is for stealing your neighbor's Wi-Fi. Gripping. Where's the vibe, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Here's a good one. Promenade to the hoop and slam dunk. It's time for a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, tell me if it's a move made in the NBA or... A move made in square dancing. If it's an NBA move, press the square button. If it's a square dancing move, press your... Ah, you're familiar with the dis or dat. Perfect. Wave the ring! Champs! Angels! Stripples! Angels! Well, 
Well, it wasn't a slam dunk, but it was as impressive as, oh, a very pleasant do -si do I tried square dancing once, but I couldn't control my balls. No, wait, I meant basketball. No, no, wait, it was square dancing. That's round one. And you should be very proud of that score, because I'm not. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. Let's move on, shall we? And on its way, better beak airful. Oh no! There's a new avian flu going around where people can't recognize words with the letter A in them. To test yourself, you start counting up from zero. What's the first number you can count to that'll test whether or not you have this illness? 88, 175, 947, or 1000. Here's some words with A in them. Awful, failure, bankrupt. Now pay attention. Believe it or not, the number 1,000 is the first number counting up from zero that has the letter A in it. Hey, I said the letter A. I guess I don't have the avian Lou. The avian Lou? Lou? Aw, oh, mother ucker! I lost my S! Question 7! Shack Attack. So I was reading Shaquille O'Neal's Twitter the other day. Cookie, might I have a speech upon you to allow me to profit this interjection? Okay, Donnie, but it has to be concise. Concise? As if to say any other way would be disparageable? Ha! Ah. Suppose you desire respite and henceforth proceed to vacationing. While postulating a destination, you choose upon further askew, New Jersey. If, while being there, you listen only to musicality originated from New Jersey, what melodious offerings would you not be comprehensing? Swerving to Journey's backlog of melodiosity, proceeding to enjoy the Bon Jovi armoire, receiving the Eerol offerings of... I think Donnie meant repertoire. And no, you're wrong. Repertoire? Why would I be asking about Bon Jovi's furniture? <laughs> The correct answer is... Journey inaugurized their musical Journey in San Francisco before caterwauling to national attention thereto for after. Whoa, what the hell? You know, Donnie, maybe you should try cutting out a lot of the extra words you say. You know, maybe just try cutting right to the point. Oh, really? Maybe if your prattering were less ampule, then maybe my elocations wouldn't seem quite so relevant. Yep, forget it. Walking chickens picking out a mate. Is all Mary eight. Next up, a super convenient truth. Which of these animal acts would Al Gore have the biggest issue with in regards to global warming? <coughs> or Hmm, maybe we can salvage this answer for glue. <laughs> Correct answer, show yourself. With over 1.5 billion in the world, cows emit a massive amount of methane through belching and flatulence. But if there's one thing I've learned over the years, you can't teach cows anything via a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Take a good look at Martin Lawrence of Arabia. It's the perfect choice that seems to order and buzz in and see if you are right. All right, there's a lot of information to process in this question, so it seems only fair to bump up the cash a little. Let's add a thousand bucks for a correct answer. Arrange these Martin Lawrence movie roles in this order. Security guard, cop, undercover cop, thief posing as a cop. Blue Streak National Security Bad Boys Big Mama's House National Security Bad Boys Big Mama's House Blue Streak National Security Blue Streak Big Mama's House Bad Boys or You really copped out on that one. <laughs> Wanna see the right answer? He played a security guard in National Security, a cop in Bad Boys, an undercover cop in Big Mama's House, and a thief posing as a cop in Blue Streak. <laughs> I'm looking forward to his upcoming role as a cop who goes undercover as an actor playing a thief pretending to be a cop in National Blue Mama's House Bad Streak House Boy 2. Yeah, that should be good. Me, never let me go. Here's one for you. Pirates who understand science. 
What would a pirate who only sailed with ocean surface currents and never against them be able to accurately claim? We sailed from New York to Florida. We sailed from California to South America. We sailed. Time to walk the plank. <laughs> Let me show you something. This is the only route here that follows an ocean current rather than fighting against it. Although they could have traveled faster in a car, have extra time to stop at a bar. Uh, Ringo Starr! Well, of course, who wants to hear my yapping? No, I'm still doing it. Sorry. Here you go. Taking it to the max. I love pushing the limits of what's possible. Good luck. That's the game! I brought this owl in to comment on your score. <laughs> Hear that? He said, Boo! Boo! 